During one of the craziest times of volatility and market downturn in recent history, I decided to invest $100 for 100 trading days. Here's my journey, here's what I learned, and there's a secret. You don't actually need that much money to catapult your financial future. In March, I started by adding $100 in on March 1st. I invested into the S&P 500 and the price of the index at that time was $4,306. By March 31st, the price of the index was $4,530. There were 23 trading days in that time, so I had put in $2,300 and my total at this time was $2,375. That's a gain of $75. Nice. By the end of April, the price of the index was at $4,131. By that time, that was 42 trading days, so I'd put in $4,200, and my total at this point was at $3,958, which was a loss of $242. Not nice, but definitely not as bad as what happens later on. By the end of May, the price of the index was at $4,132. At this point, it had been 63 trading days, so I had put in $6,300 invested, and my total at this point was 6,108. That's a loss of 192, and that's better than at the end of April, but it's still a loss. Moving on to the end of June, the price of the index at that point was $3,785. Ouch. At this point, we were 84 trading days in, so I had invested $8,400, but my total was only at $7,638. That's a loss of $762, not cool at all. But after I get through showing you these numbers, I'm gonna show you why I'm so excited that this is exactly the time to be invested into the S&P 500. All the people in my life that have millions of dollars did exactly what I'm gonna teach you after I show you the rest of this because these types of opportunities don't come often and this is one that could 10X your wealth for your financial future. Okay. So July 25th was the 100th day. The index at that time was $3,966. After 100 days, I had invested $10,000 and my total after all investments came out to be 9,640. So in all, that was a total decrease of $360, which shows that I made up some ground from the month prior, but still ended this experiment with a loss. But remember, all those news outlets have been going crazy trying to show us that this is a market downturn, that we're heading into a recession, that you need to run and hide. My portfolio of that investment is only down 3.5%. Is this supposed to be the market that I'm scared of? Even though I'm down 3.5%, guess what the good news is? I have $9,640 sitting in an asset that will appreciate as soon as this market downturn recovers, which it always has. Watch what this means for your net worth and how this is catapulting people forward financially. Now, it's quite easy to spend $100 a day. You could spend that on food, coffee, shopping, or entertainment. But over time, that savings really adds up. And I didn't just save $100 a day, I put it into an investment that's at its cheapest that it's been in quite some time. Remember at the beginning how I said that there's a secret and it actually doesn't take a crazy amount of money to change your financial future? Now, $100 a day is a lot to invest, but let's just do $100 per paycheck. So that's $100 twice per month or $200 a month. On average, the S&P 500 gains about 10% per year. So if we did this in 20 years, we would be at $137,460. Let's see the difference though, if we had that $9,640 already sitting in the S&P 500 and then we started adding that $200 per month. That total is $202,313, which is a difference of $64,853. So basically that $9,640 grew to an extra $55,213 just by sitting in there. In 30 years, if you hadn't started with the head start of $9,640, you'd have $394,785. Now with the $9,640 sitting there, you'd have $562,997. In 40 years, if you hadn't started with the head start of $9,640, you'd have $1,000,000 
$62,222. Side note, that is over $1 million just by setting aside $100 every time that you get a paycheck. That's not an absolutely crazy amount of money to set aside, but that grows into something that most people will never see in their entire lifetime. After this video, you're gonna wanna watch the video that I made on VU, because VU is the ETF that tracks the S&P 500, and I show how that could be the only ETF, the only stock, the only investment that you have your whole life, and you'll be able to retire on just that. I'll have that video queued up and ready for you at the end of this video. I'll also have it down in my description below. Okay, so if you didn't have that head start, in 40 years, you'd have a little over a million dollars. With that $9,640 head start during a market downturn like I just did, you'd now have $1,498,521. That $9,640 has now grown to an extra almost $500,000 just because it was sitting there. And guess what? During a market downturn like we're seeing now, the S&P 500 is down so much that when it recovers, it's not recovering from zero and going up 10%. When stocks and index funds recover, they go up 30, 40, 50% to get back to where they were. And then from there, on average, they're gonna grow about 10% per year. So that $9,600 that's sitting there is gonna turn into a lot more very quickly. And now that's gonna be the head start on this investing plan that we're talking about. This is the moment you've been waiting for to change your financial future. If you can't do $100 per day, do $5 per day. You can definitely find $5 somewhere, and if not, start a side hustle, and I'm sure you're gonna make more than $5 per day that you can then put into that investment. I promise in a couple of years, you're gonna look back and be so happy that you did. Here's that video on VU and exactly how you can retire, super simple, on just one ETF. I'm also gonna include a playlist of other videos, including ETFs that I really like, and individual stocks that I'm buying up, especially during this market downturn. Good luck, everyone, and let's make some strong financial decisions.